What's up, guys? Big Papa Drock back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. I'm recording this, guys, on a Sunday. It's the weekend. Or I should say the weekend is over. So when you're watching this, it's probably a Monday, and I hope you had a wonderful weekend wherever you are. Um, before we get into the video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you who came out and watched my very first YouTube live stream. I've talked in the past about how I've been a Twitch streamer for the last three years almost three years playing stuff like Warzone and things like that. And so I really didn't know what to expect when I did my first YouTube live stream last week. And I just have to say like the, the support and just the, the, the presence from the community was absolutely incredible. It, it really blew me away. So I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for that. I plan on doing weekly raid live streams on Wednesday going forward, where I'll be doing live arena battles, uh, live arena battles as we kind of make our way up the leaderboard. But just wanted to say again, thank you so much for that. That really meant so much to me personally, and I can't wait to get to know all you uh, better as we do that on a regular basis. But for today's video, guys, oh man, you know, it 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 hurts me to make this video, but I think it, it needs to be said and uh, it needs to be called out because frankly, the changes that Plarium has been making recently are, you know, changes that I think are contributing to destroying this game. Um, and I want to talk about them and why they're so problematic and how, you know, how and why we could maybe change different things to make the game better as opposed to changing the things that they're focused on, which are, in my opinion, making the, the game worse. Um, you know, the, the reality is the game has gotten a lot better over the years in terms of quality of life improvements. You know, when I started playing two years ago, you couldn't sort through artifacts the way you can now. You couldn't feed potions as fast as you can now or do other stuff like that. So they've made a lot of improvements um, to the game as a, uh, on a whole. And, you know, obviously with the whole Soulstone system that came out, I said at the time that it was a, a cash grab. I still feel that way. I, I kind of wish they'd never introduced it, at least not at the, the cost that they had, you know, put out there. But it did add some interesting utility to your champions, at least. I just knew that it was going to be a system that was designed to take as much money out of people's pockets as possible. And look, Raid is a, is a business, right? It, it's a business, and if it weren't making money, it wouldn't exist. So the people spending money are keeping this game afloat um, because otherwise they wouldn't continue development on it. So let's just start with that and acknowledge that. But I have to say the changes that have been announced in the last couple months, specifically the Polymorph nerf, which again, doesn't go nearly far enough in terms of actually changing the blessing. And on top of that, uh, at the top end of arena, it doesn't change a single thing, given that six star works the exact same way as it did before. Like that's, that's not a good change for the game. And I made a video and talked about why, and I stand by those comments, but the leaked patch info that came out this past week really took it to an entirely different level. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of creators have brought it up and, and covered it, but essentially this is, the focus of what we're going to talk about today, which is they're introducing soul chase tournaments, right? So let's read this. These are the new patch notes for an upcoming patch 7.21 features. Oh yes. So many features here. Soul chase tournament, get as many souls as you can to earn points and get your hands on some great rewards. Soul stone rush, earn event points by summoning souls from soul stones, turn attack tournaments, clear dungeons in as few turns as possible, earn more points by tackling higher stages. Level six blessings now grant additional stat bonuses. And then of course a new champion and new champion lore and then the artifact set rebalance, which for the most part uh, is a good thing. You know, they're trying to improve some of these artifact sets that are basically completely worthless. Though I will say they're punishing people that use debuffs again for some ridiculous reason i'm not even gonna get into it because it's not that important it's not that impactful but what i really want to talk about is these first four things soul chase tournaments by themselves are dumb you know in my opinion i don't think they're necessary they're not something that that needs to be added to the game the entire reason they're in here is to bilk more money out of people because the problem is it's too damn hard to get souls in the first place just playing the game normally. If you're doing the you know twin Iron Twins dungeon, you're getting almost nothing. You get six keys per day, unless you wanna spend 150 gems to get an additional six keys. The battles take forever. Um, and you get almost nothing in terms of rewards, except on the day of voids on Sunday, where you get an okay reward for your energy spent. Because that's the thing, it also costs energy. 
this is a serious problem. This is catering specifically to whales. And here's the issue. I'm a whale, I'm a Kraken. I've spent a lot of money on the game. We all know this, but this is going to destroy the community, Plarium. If you continue to add features into the game that basically screw over in the mid spender or the low spender or free to play player, you're not gonna have a community left. People won't play anymore. They are going to leave. They have been leaving over the years without a doubt. Like Raid is not as popular as when it was first announced. And that's normal for most games, but you're gonna continue to have people just walk away. I get that you wanna make money. I get that you're trying to increase your bottom line, but for the love of God, throw people a bone. Don't be this greedy. And that's really what this all boils down to is it's simple greed. There is no need to add this. There's no need for this to be in the game. It doesn't benefit anyone except people who want to spend a bunch of money. And even then it's completely superfluous uh, and is not something that, that needs to exist. People are fine with shard rushes or, you know, summon rushes for shards and, you know, shard tournaments, whatever. That's already enough whaling as it is. But the biggest issue is you just can't get souls in this game. And even when you get the souls, the chance of actually summoning somebody, as we know, you know, if you go into your, into your, uh, whatchamacallit, your altar of souls here on your wish list, you only have a 2x chance of getting souls. That's, that's nothing. That's literally nothing. That is a joke. That's, that's 0.05%. I mean, it just, it just almost impossible to get the champion that you're actually looking for, let alone the fact that you're going to end up with souls for champions you don't even have, which again is completely pointless. This entire system needs a massive, massive rework. It, it, it is unbelievably punitive to the normal player and even frankly to the whale. And I get that it's designed to do that, to take as much money out of people's pockets as possible. And I knew that when it was launched and look, it succeeded with me. It took a lot of money out of my pocket but I'm not buying Soulstone packs going forward, frankly. I'm, I'm, I think I'm tapped out for quite some time because every change that Plarium puts in the game recently seems designed to just piss me off and frankly, to destroy what they have built. And look, you probably, if you came to the live stream or if you've seen my videos, you know I'm a pretty passionate person and I'm obviously passionate about Raid, enough so that I've created videos and become a content creator and all this stuff. I just want to see this game continue to get better, not get worse. You know, I played a lot of Warzone, and one of the big things that happened over the course of Warzone's life, if you play FPS games, was the game got worse over time, not better. And it led to people, you know, stopping playing and leaving the community, and the game slowly began to die. And frankly, I think that's what's happening here because every single thing seems catered specifically to whales and even more than that, not even specifically catered to whales, but specifically catered to take as much money as possible. And on that note, one of the other things with this update that is just ludicrous is the fact that level six blessings are now gonna grant additional stat bonuses. Why? We don't need that. Nobody wants it. I get that you're trying to make more money, but for the love of God, think about the quality of your game. Think about the community. Like, look, there's already a massive gap between people that spend and people that don't, but there's no reason to put this in there. Half the freaking blessings aren't even usable as it is. Like, let's take a look. Realistically, what blessings are you actually gonna use in this game at this point? Uh, well, we all know you're gonna use Polymorph and that's not gonna change. With any of these updates you're still going to see everybody using polymorph because the nerf is a freaking joke you know you'll use brimstone but oh wait they nerfed that and hurt you know the player base with that yeah you'll use crushing ren for sure are you going to use carapace or survival instinct and incinerate not really probably not life harvest nah you're not using this soul reap sure commanding presence is the same as intimidating presence just less so you'll use that on an epic but for the most part most of these blessings don't even need to exist. They need entire reworks, complete and utter balance changes. But what they don't need is to make them stronger. What the hell are you gonna add to six star polymorph? The blessing that is already the most OP in the entire game. Why would you want to make it even more powerful? All that is going to do is destroy the competitive balance in the game 
further and drive more and more and more players away from a game that has lost players since it launched. This doesn't take rocket science to understand. Again, you're a business, you want to make money. I respect that. I understand it. But this is not the way to go about it. Continuing to shove features that are really actually just bald faced attempts to increase revenue, you know, down the player base's throat. I, I just, I don't understand why this continues to happen because, I, again, it's going to eventually affect people's desire to play the game it is and once people leave generally speaking they don't come back they go do something else i mean hell i've been playing a lot of diablo 4 this week i've been less involved in, in, in this week in raid probably for the entire time that i played with the exception of the live stream i played way more diablo 4 than i have raid and i haven't and i've been fine with that that's not what you want but if you continue to introduce these kind of things plarium you're going to lose the player base. Start thinking about ways to actually improve the game that affect everyone. Like, I don't know, balancing older champions. That would be nice. It's not like you're not gonna get people to still spend too. If you do nice things for the community, what you'll find is that people will be more excited about the game and probably more inclined to spend because they are enjoying themselves. There are so many areas of this game that could be improved, that could be fixed, that could be, you know, changed for the better. This is not it. And I had to make a video on it, and I know a lot of content creators have, but frankly, people need to, to speak out about this stuff. Like, people in the community need to say something because I really don't want this game to go further downhill. And Part of that is the content creator person, right? Who makes content on it and wants to do well on YouTube and grow his community. Sure, I would be lying if I said otherwise. But the other part is the person who's played this game religiously for over two years now, who has spent an ungodly sum of money on it, and also who has a lot of friends in the community and in his clan and in other clans that he really enjoys, you know, talking with. I just don't want to see the game die. And I really think that people need to speak up about how absolutely ludicrous this patch is going to be. It is a massive, massive L. There's no other way to, you know, to talk about it. There's no sugarcoating it. It's a mistake. So all I'm saying is Plarium, Raid, listen to your community, please. You know, you've done so in the past over things like the Hydra nerf when you know, destroy HP became 75% of a champion's health bar, and thankfully you immediately reverted it. Please listen to the community. Please be open to understanding the fact that you can still make an absolute boatload of money without destroying the competitive balance further. That's it, guys. That's all I have. I just wanted to talk about it because I really don't want to see this game die. So let me know in the comments if you agree with me. Let me know if you disagree, though I can't believe why. Um, as always, I value your input. I value your feedback. And uh, again, I'm going to continue to stream and do stuff. But <laughs> I mean, let's let's hope the community is still there to watch. Right. Thank you guys so much. As always, I will see you soon. And let's hope things get better. Big Papa Drop out.